The dead surround the living. The living are the core of the dead. In this core are the dimensions of time and space. What surrounds the core is timelessness. The rarity of clear exchange is due to the rarity of what can cross intact the frontier between timelessness and time. The dead inhabit a timeless moment of construction continually re-begun. The construction is the state of the universe at any instant. According to their memory of life, the dead know the moment of construction as also a moment of collapse. Having lived, the dead can never be inert. If the dead live in a timeless moment, how can they have a memory? They remember no more than being thrown into time, as does everything which existed or exists. The difference between the dead and the unborn is that the dead have this memory. As the number of dead increase, the memory enlarges. In the world of the living, there is an equivalent but contrary phenomenon. The living sometimes experience timelessness, as revealed in sleep, ecstasy, instance of extreme danger, orgasm, perhaps in the experience of dying itself. During these instants, the living imagination covers the entire field of experience and overruns the contours of the individual life or death. It touches the waiting imagination of the dead. What is the relation of the dead to what has not yet happened, to the future? All the future is the construction in which their imagination is engaged. Until the dehumanization of society by capitalism, all the living awaited the experience of the dead. It was their ultimate future. By themselves, the living were incomplete. Thus, living and dead were interdependent, always. Only a uniquely modern form of egotism has broken this interdependence, with disastrous results for the living. Now think of the dead as the eliminated.